So let's have a look at, well, let's have a look at that heart situation because that, that would be naturally something we'd want to look at. Uh, so this one here, which is the so heart. Th th this, is, this, is, this is showing up the problems that exist in my heart <coughs> and that it's picked up with the scan. That's correct. So you've got, the, you've got areas of, of, of optimum function here with the three. Then you've got areas which are fours, these downward pointing darker triangles which mean the area is under stress and the stress is starting to overtake healthy function. A next step along are these brown or number fives. This is showing where the function is definitely compromised and we must investigate. It's important to, to ascertain. So that. I've got some stress there in the lower section of, the, yep. of that ventricle. Though. You definitely do. Yeah. And it does look like you've got something, uh, something serious or potentially serious to look at maybe a more long-term situation but it's telling us look here investigate definitely so we'll do that so as you can see over here this is a testing uh, button we, we press that and then we can ask the system based on statistics what is the most likely problem going on in a pathology term so let's have a look okay now you see the top figure there atherosclerosis it is indicating, according to these figures... So the things in red there are showing the things that need attention? Yes, it's, it's showing us information. Now, the lower the figure is towards zero, the way that the Russians have set it up, shows the higher priority, the, the, uh, a, how would you say, more weighting given to the problem. This is showing quite a reasonable weighting for thickening of the arteries, atherosclerosis. So, so this arteriosclerosis is, is setting in. Yes, yeah, it is hardening of the arteries. Yeah. It is indicating yeah, that this I, is. I think I think that's probably exactly right. Yes. So let's have a look at um, another possibility. Okay, I've just checked for microorganisms, but there's nothing in the area that's contributing to the problem. Nothing active. And we can even look well, at... Well, I do take your silver water, so I guess... <laughs> <laughs> well, there I you guess go. that would knock it out, wouldn't it? There's a silver works. <laughs> so that's good. Um, all right, so let's go further down. See, we can even test if there's possible allergens, certain chemicals or products that you may come into contact with. Not really. There's a few things, but they're not at a high weighting. So yeah. we, we, we wouldn't because worry about the, them too much. You know, the, the closer you get to zero, the more serious it is. The more prominent, the more likely this is having an effect. So, yeah. it, so it, we, were, we were running well above the, this, the zero level there yes. with most of those. Yes. yes, not too big a deal. Now let's test for food. Now what we're getting here is foods that are going to be helpful for your situation in this particular area. It's okay. incredible. So it's even going to provide a diet for me. It can, yes. <laughs> so we'll, we'll have you living on pumpkin, parsley, prunes, apples, herring, beetroot, you know, dandelion, all of these types of things. And it goes a reasonable way up here to plum turkey. Now, that's the things that are going to be healthy for you and not going to cause you any dramas. Now, if we go to the other end of the list, we can identify things that are going to be problems for you. So on this case, you can see that heavier meats such as goose meat, pork meat, um, uh, and venison. White cabbage is, 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 I thought white cabbage was good for me, but it's interesting that it shows up as 14.137 on the scale. Yes, so at the moment, at the moment, the rating is quite high. However, bear in mind, these things aren't static. So if we were to apply therapy to your heart over an extended period to raise the vitality, you'll find that your tolerance to foods also increases. So this is all very flexible. It all depends on where we get you to with optimum frequencies and vitality in your organs. So it will tell them the things that are to avoid so their situation isn't aggravated. Where's so, cow's milk on it? Where's oh, cow's milk? cow's milk on here? Where is it? Not showing up just at the moment. Coffee, black tea, obviously spirits with their very high sugar content. Ah, oh, here we are. Cow, cow's milk, dairy is showing up, and it's yeah, our. And that's not good for me. Cow's no, milk. No, it's at a high level. There's a reasonable number of things, and they're all fairly. What similar. if you go to processed uh, processed cow's milk, like uh, say, for example, cheese or uh, things like that? Well, from a from a naturopathic point of view, it's similar because. Cow's milk does come from, uh, sorry, uh, cheese, cheese comes from, you know, see, processing yeah. cow's so milk. So it doesn't actually lessen the uh, effectiveness of the product at all? No, 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 no. You, you could basically say when it says cow's milk, 
dairy, you'd say anything that's derived originally yeah. from yeah. milk is going to be an issue. I find it absolutely fascinating that you've got a, a machine here that uh, not only diagnoses every part of your body, but even uh, ramifies into other areas to find the cause and then, uh, and then treats it. And then finally, it uh, it looks around and says, "Okay, this is the best food you should you, you should eat, and this mm -hmm. stuff here you should avoid." I think that's that's very modern and very uh, very much. So it'll even diagnose for homeopathy yes. as well. Yes. So it's throwing up here. Look, the figures aren't huge, which means to say that homeopathy is not really going to be the course here. But let's go to phytotherapy, which is herbal medicine. If we go there, and. Uh, and what is exactly is phytotherapy? Phytotherapy is, is the, what the uh, general, general word for herbal medicine. Yeah, herbal medicine. Plant, plant derived. Yeah, plant therapy basically, phyto meaning plant. Okay, right. So, and it's throwing up possible things that would be worthwhile. Um, they're not huge levels, but they're worth considering. It's interesting that the top three here, we've just been looking at your heart situation. For example, this one here, Cretaceous is hawthorn, which is a very commonly used heart herb in the West. Oh, is that right? Exactly. And, and so it shows up that I should need now. Now that's interesting. Isn't yeah, it? so it would, be, it would be reasonable to use that. It's not a huge tick, but it's showing that, yeah, this would be a reasonable thing. The other thing is showing here, for example, that this herb, Melissa officiallinalis, it's another heart herb, but it is more from the point of view of calming the heart. So it's suggesting that its function would be to relax the cardio system is, is important in this case. So to take a bit of stress off it. Yes, exactly. So depending on your background in training, some of these extra areas just give you a more subtle insight as to how to approach the problem and what it will respond to. So the more you know in a certain area, there's probably more options for therapy to to consider so but this is this is where the therapist's interpretation comes yeah. in a little bit but the information and the weighting behind it is definite so fascinating yes, Absolutely yes. Fascinating. Yeah. so look um, would you like to see an example of um, uh, the therapy, the metatherapy applied to the area? Well, yes. Uh, well, you know, like here we've got here we've got the heart just come up here again, uh, yes. and uh, this area down here, I think you said was uh, was getting not too good. No, and, that's right. Uh, and yes. we've got something around here, the aortic region. And that's right. So it is like that. Uh, right. can, can we actually change some of those areas with this machine while we're sitting here? And yes, we can. And I'll, I'll just show That's you quickly again. Let's test the area again. Let's have a look at the pathology. Now, see that number there? 0 0.064. Let's right. remember that. Because that's the waiting. Zero. Right. We'll, zero we'll just write four. that down here. Okay. Uh, zero point zero, zero six four. four. Okay. Good. Okay. Right. Now let's go in and let's perform some therapy. Now what we would tend to do with some areas that look rather stubborn is we would take the target, which I've got here, we would put it on the uh, worst areas and that gives the initial therapy a little bit of extra kick to try and turn over because obviously this looks like it's been ingrained a little while. Right. Now, now, this treatment that we're having is going to uh, going to uh, going to occur by a form of resonance, I suppose, from these headphones. Uh, the frequency will resonate with that part of the body and affect a change. Correct. That's exactly what happens. Yes, it oh, happens right. right here, right now, as you see it and hear it. Right. So we'll give it a go. Okay. And the targets okay, in the uh, area. Very interesting. Yeah. I press start. And away we go. Now, just have a watch. Some things may not change if they've been an inherent older problem. So it's actually treating now. It's treating now. And if you look carefully, some areas will change. There we go. One area changed up there. And as it spreads down here, you may see other areas begin to change. So that one's coming down here, look. Yes, yes. Good heavens. Yeah. So we've had a couple of changes. So you can definitely assume that this is something that's been over the long term. It's more entrenched and we find that the body is locked into these patterns. And so it takes a little bit more effort. But let's do it again. We always do two metatherapies. Uh, look, some of those colours have changed, I think. They have, yes. Up here, particularly, they, they were, they were the, yes. the, like the same as these black ones. That's there, correct. black squares, and they've changed to a, a, a red triangle. That's correct. That's good, is it? That is good. Let's yeah. go down here. I've got a feeling we may make some inroads down here if we put it next to it. Okay, not that time. Let's go up here. Okay, see how we changed that one? I saw it change on the spot. Yes, yes. So Incredible. we'll do that. So with areas like this, I might go in individually and try and affect a 
quicker rate of change? So when you say it's changing, what's actually happening is, is that the frequency is changing in the area. You can think of the frequencies that are identified as a measure of vitality. So we're applying a frequency to help correct a frequency that is not optimal. So it gets a vitality boost, a move closer towards optimum frequencies, and then with enough, um, with enough therapy, the body eventually kicks in starts looking after itself and therefore healing itself. So interesting. this is Very the process, yes. And, and logical, logical. Yes. So let's have a look now. We've applied two therapies. Let's analyze what we've done. Let's just see how much change has gone on. The change that we've, okay, this is a longer term problem because the change that we've affected is only 3%. So this is a, an area of concern and would require some steady treatment over a period of time. So let's have a look at what's happened to the frequency in the area. Remember we were talking about 0 0.064? Yeah. Let's see where it's at now. Well look, it's actually out of the red zone altogether. Where is it now? It's way up to 0 0.461. So it's improved. It's yeah. shown improvement. It, it, it's it's is, come out of the red area. Yeah, it's way out of the danger zone. Yeah. However, the reality is you would have to uh, come back for regular treatment to get that to cement and stick because obviously therapy is great but what's more important is what you do between sessions of therapy, you know, your diet, your lifestyle. <clears throat> we would give you an appropriate program that would combine with the therapy and cement a positive change over the longer term. So that would be what I would say to you looking at this case. So, yes. Fascinating. Fascinating. Yes. So that's, that's very interesting. Is there anything else that you wanted to look at? No, it, it looks pretty good unless there's something else you've got to tell me. But uh, I'm, I'm I'm quite uh, I'm quite struck by the uh, the efficacy of it. Terrific. Thank you very much, Nick. I do appreciate that. Looks like I'm going to have to come back and get that fixed. I think so. <laughs> very good. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much. All the best.